a tick on me because Lyme is a result of um, tick-borne illness. But what I did realize is that you can overcome, your immune system can overcome these kinds of diseases um, that can attack you and really do a number on your body if you're not in your best and highest state. And when I looked at my stress levels and when I thought about the types of foods, like a lot of sugar and that sort of thing that I had been consuming, I realized that, you know, I really needed to make some changes and be more conscious about my choices. And when I did that, I really felt that, you know, um, I had empowered myself on the journey once again to be in my highest and best self. And I lost about 25, 27 pounds at that time. I was doing a lot of mindfulness meditation, ensuring that, you know, I was putting the right foods into my body. And, you know, the results were that I started to see just the weight dropping off of me. And I'm a 49-year-old woman, probably at the cusp of menopause, if not already in it. And so I know that weight isn't as easy to lose. I know that, um, you know, my job is one that I'm not physically active all the time. And I know that those are some of the areas that, you know, cause me stress as well. So I had to look at self-care and I had to look at what I was putting in into this physical body. And, um, you know, I had to take a good long look at that and also do some reprogramming of my neural um, network and my pathways that are going on and my thought systems, the way I perceive the world in order to lower my stress. And how much sleep was I getting beyond, you know, the eating, the physical activity and the positive perspective and lowered stress? How much sleep is very critical to the way all of these things are affected? So um, the way we metabolize our food, the way we... Um, you know, perceive our surroundings and our the stress in our life and how we perceive the world and essentially how much energy we have. So sleep is is not waste time. It's like some people feel like, oh, you know, I'm going to use every minute of life that I can. Um, but sleep is really critical to our lives. And it's shown in studies that uh, lack of sleep can actually shorten our lives. So when you're you're actually just trading time when you're we're cutting out sleep you're trading time you're trading quality of life so sleep and you know also important that they've recognized is the alpha brainwave state which is a time where your brain is basically in meditation that's the state of meditation that brings you into alpha brainwave state and it's critical to the 24-hour cycle that our bodies need and our brains need. So, it, you know, that being said, it's very important to be mindful of a lot of things that are going on in your life that affect these different areas that you need to focus and make sure for the optimal you that everything is in, is in flow and balance. And if it's out of balance, any portion of, of this, you know, regimen, this 24-hour regimen is out of balance, then it affects you in severe ways. It affects your ability to live. It affects the quality of life. And it affects you from creating. And, you know, really we're all here to create and uh, provide for our families, experience, relationships, and sensuously, through our sensory experience this world, this life, for our souls and our soul's growth. And so when you're looking at that perspective of why we're here, you know, a lot of times um, a lot of us wonder why we're here, why we're, we're still here. Um, I've done a lot of meditations with the senior population over the course of many years, um, people in their 90s that were just learning how to meditate for the first time. And, you know, a lot of times the question would come up, I don't know why I'm still here. I feel like a burden. I feel like, you know, there's no reason for me to be here anymore. But each of us in every aspect in every time period of this world has a purpose and it might be very small or it might be very large or it 
it may be the moment of um, impact like this person that was real, a human being, Amal Hussein, a seven-year-old girl. I mean, I'm sure I'm not the only one impacted by her image and her suffering. But, you know, basically for her image and to be displayed to the world to show and represent the malnourished children in Yemen and how painful that looks in reality. It, it, it affected me deeply. And so her, her purpose at that moment, you know, as difficult as it is, was to reveal what's going on so that as humanity can take a look at this, this issue and move us forward and evolve us in healthier ways and help each other and, you know, maybe cultivate more love and care amongst the world instead of putting these boundaries up in political agendas and, you know, just uh, money-driven thought systems. Um, maybe we need to look at how it affects us. We are all one. We're all connected. And we all need to be in that space at some point if we are to evolve in the best way possible. And, you know, I, myself, as I said, I'm trying to spread this word in a way that helps you provide self-care within, um, not get extremely stressed out because of these situations that are happening in the world and create more fear and catastrophic thinking. <clears throat> but to help you explore the possibilities and put those possibilities into an intention that will play out in positive ways through our evolution. So um, with that being said, um, I think it's time for us to take a break. So uh, we'll, we'll be right back in a few moments and uh, stay tuned. To my love, took it down. I climbed a mountain and I turned around. And I saw my. Come explore with us natural and healthy ways to achieve inner peace, happiness, and an ever present state of well being on the Mind Health Coach with Leah Marie every Friday at 10 a.m. and 10 p.m. Eastern Time on the Dream Vision 7 Radio Network. You're already healed. You just haven't realized it yet. When you're ready, you can change your mind and change your life forever. The power of a beautiful life is within you today. Are you looking for the keys to unlock the doors to excellent health, happiness, positive life experiences, success at work, wonderful relationships, and inner peace? You may think you won't ever find all of those keys that will finally unlock the doors for good, but I can assure you that they're waiting to be discovered within you. The Mind Health Coach Program helps you journey within and open those doors that are blocking your way to a beautifully balanced life. We help you find the most natural and healthy holistic practices that work best for you and your lifestyle. You're already healed. You just haven't realized it yet. When you're ready, you can change your mind and change your life forever. A beautiful life is waiting to be discovered within you today. To learn more about our program, visit MindHealthCoach.com. This is Dream Vision 7 Radio Network, uniting mankind with universal love. Our shows are created from the heart, bringing each listener to a place of divine enlightenment. Breathe, relax, and enjoy. Let life flow. Back to the Dream Vision 7 Network broadcast of the Mind Health Coach Program. I'm Leah Marie, your host and you're listening to Dream Vision 7 Network. And my show, The Mind Health Coach Program, is aired every Friday at 10 a.m. and 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. To learn more and for a full station broadcast schedule, go to dreamvision7radio.com. You can learn more about my programs at mindhealthcoach.com. And, you know, I wanted to share with you guys um, about some different things coming up 
that I'm working on. Um, I'm working on a book called Create Your Legacy with Mindfulness. And I'm so excited about this opportunity. I was approached by a company called Publisher, Publisher and um, they're worldwide, and they help authors get published by um, getting books out there uh, to be pre-ordered. And they, I, I want, I've like got entered into this contest because of the submission of my proposal of my book, and I'm very, very excited about it. And um, if I sell over 250 books, like pre-selling the books, by Monday, February 18th of 2019, then my book will be published to 46 independent publishers, and it'll also be put out to, um, I, I think, more. If I sell 500 pre-sale books, then I think I'm put in front of 134 publishers, too. So the more books that I pre-sell on Create Your Legacy with Mindfulness, the higher the opportunity is that I'll be um, able to be published by um, you know, a legitimate publisher, not self-published. I really am focused on making that happen because I don't have the time or space in my schedule um, with the work I do during the week, um, you know, in the elder care field to actually, you know, do a lot of um, work on marketing a self-published book. So this is a, you know, a great campaign. I'm excited about it. I'm going to share a link on my Facebook page. Um, you know, it'll be out there. You can find it on my website. I'm going to be adding it to my website too. But it's February 18th is the deadline that I need to hit, um, I think, somewhere between 250 or, you know, the best, the best uh, chance for me to be published formally is 500 pre-orders. So I'd like you to take a look at this book, Creating Your Legacy with Mindfulness is about living centrally immersed in every moment on the journey of discovery and purpose. So it, it's going to have a lot about me. <laughs> uh, well, not me in particular, but my journey and the lessons and the challenges that I faced and how I was able to shift things. And it's also going to, you know, give a lot of um, tried and true and tested techniques that are um, to put in your toolbox to help with stress management and a better perception. Um, you know, it's, it's also going to involve... Um, my meditations, meditation program. So all of these aspects will be built into the book. I'm really excited about that. And another part that I'd like to share with you is for 2019, I have decided after seeing this um, horrifying story of this seven-year-old uh, that brought you know, the light um, onto the subject of world hunger and how children are being affected, um, in Yemen, uh, particularly, this story was focused on the refugees of, of Yemen and, and the unrest and war-stricken um, areas and how horrible it is. Um, <clears throat> so it, it affected me, as I was sharing in the last segment, in such a way that I, I was very moved and wanted to see how I could help. So I'm going to be donating a portion of all sales of this book any coaching sessions um, and, you know, whatever events that I do through the Mind Health Coach program, a portion of the, the profits will be donated to different organizations. Um, I would like to spread out and, and help those different organizations. But two in protect, particular that I'm looking at is Rise Against Hunger, um, and you can find them at act.riseagainsthunger.org, or the World Food Program, um, their website is www.f excuse me www.wfp.org, World Food Program, and I found those to be two legitimate, really great uh, nonprofit charity organizations that are helping these populations that are severely depressed and they they don't have food. 
and clean water sources. So um, thinking about that for 2019, that's my intention.